how Iran is planning to exploit the Palestine-Israel crisis The ground beneath the Palestinian territories and Israel is shifting so rapidly that it is impossible to predict what is going to happen next. As I write this, Israeli forces may have decided to launch a ground invasion of Gaza, having determined that they cannot back down now, as Hamas continues to fire rockets into their territory in response to the violence on the streets of Jerusalem between Palestinians and Israelis. Such an operation, however, will not only further enrage the residents of Gaza, the Palestinian territory under the control of Hamas, but those Arabs living within Israel as well. Whether the situation has slipped out of the Israeli government's control or not, there is palpable anger on the streets days after Israeli right-wing extremists engaged in violence with ordinary Palestinians, including worshippers, around Al-Aqsa Mosque in Jerusalem. A ground invasion of Gaza could also overturn the balance of power in the country and its immediate neighborhood as it potentially entraps Israel on multiple fronts, within Israel itself, in Gaza to its west and in Lebanon to its north. The Iranian regime, which has allies in both Gaza and Lebanon and considers Israel to be a mortal enemy, may even consider firing its own rockets into the country for the first time. That calculation is not yet clear. For the Israeli leadership, invasion could serve as a means to destroy Hamas by taking down Gaza's military and civilian infrastructure, while containing its own home front and restoring deterrence. On the other hand, Hamas and its patrons in Tehran may seize the opportunity to defeat Israel through a barrage of missiles from the aforementioned fronts while weaponizing Palestinian anger inside Israel.